from November 11th to November 14th, 2015, Montreal dumped 4.9 billion liters of raw sewage straight into the St. Lawrence River, leading to negative impacts which were both social and environmental. To give you an idea of what 4.9 billion really is. That's the size of almost 2,000 Olympic sized swimming pools or 900 Ripley's aquariums. The dumping of sewage from Montreal started November 11th right after midnight. From there, Montreal proceeded to dump sewage from one third of its buildings straight into St. Lawrence while a 17 kilometer pipeline was being replaced. People of Montreal were severely affected by this dumping. Citizens coped with the dreadful sights and terrible odors for those four dreadful days, and they couldn't even do any of their usual activities near the St. Lawrence, such as surfing, boating, or even casual walks on the beach. However, people weren't the only ones affected though. 4.9 billion liters of sewage contaminated the fish's habitat and the sewage obscured the natural chemicals in the water. The fish couldn't recognize the chemicals that told them where food, shelter, and predators were. And the sewage contaminated the soil of the breeding grounds of the fish, which would lead to declining fish populations for years to come. The point is, in this day and age, is this really the best solution we can come up with? Dumping all the waste into the river? It was horrific that Montreal would do this, but imagine what would be the impact if Toronto dumped one third of its building sewage into Lake Ontario. To put things into a ratio perspective, if Toronto started doing the same level of dumping within the four days period, they would dump close to 20 billion liters of sewage. That's a lot of sewage going to Lake Ontario, but did you know that Toronto is already dumping sewage into Lake Ontario and has been doing it for years now? Montreal is not the only one getting the dump. Because of Toronto's huge population, their huge amount of wastewater exceeds what their treatment plants can handle, especially during rainstorms. But once a week, excess sewage which has the chunks removed is dumped into Lake Ontario. One spot especially is Ashbridge's Bay. In a given year, there is 4 billion liters of untreated sewage water going into Lake Ontario. That's a lot of sewage. As you can see, Toronto's sewage system isn't perfect, but what Montreal did for that short time was not only disgusting but incredibly unsanitary. Can you imagine Toronto doing the same, dumping 20 billion liters of sewage straight into the Lake Ontario? Think about a summer with no swimming, no walks along the beach. The sewage dump will have lasting effects from everything to the fish population to the economy for years to come.